Ordinary lives consist of moments, occasions, events and experiences. But some of these moments turn out to be so special that you never want to forgive them. Unfortunately, to forget is human and time relegates all those special moments to antiquity. And that is when photography comes in to bring to the present memories of those special moments, occasions and events which you cherish so, so much. You don't just want photography, you want professional photography. Speak to the experts at Dan Studios UK. A firm of professional photographers providing unequaled photography services to all areas in the UK. Let us take care of the photographs of those special occasions that mean so much to you. Is it a wedding, a christening, an engagement, a marriage ceremony, a birthday party, or is it a funeral celebration, a business event, a religious event, a political event, or other social events. A Dance Studios UK is your ultimate choice. Get in touch now for a professional photography service with a touch of spice. A Dance Studios UK, incredible photographs that return those memories from antiquity to the present. A Bushan Four, so Kishi Ni Yao Padia, a man Kwan Chen Fubia, a set picture cinema woo, a bit me can say, I'm sorry, or pictures Ni Yana say. Contact at Dan Studios UK on 078-52-311-049. That's 078-52-311-049. At Dan Studios UK for incredibly fabulous photographs. At Dan Studios UK. Naturally flawless. At Dan Studios UK. Incredible photographs with a touch of spice. spice, spice. I brought you for Ghana for listen to Ohima B this and every Tuesday evening, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. UK time for our evening talk show, The Man Komo. Join the conversation, family issues, social issues, Awari Munsem, child upbringing, Abataye Munsem, Emante Tiye Munsem, Fie Shensem, Emma Sukahu. Don't miss this show this and every Tuesday evening, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Listen to A Man Komo on Top Online. Radio UK. You can watch the program live on Facebook at Top Online Radio UK. You can tune in to us by visiting our website www.toponlinestation.com or you can download our radio app directly from the Play Store or the App Store. You can also tune in to us on Modern Ghana Radio, Ghana Web Radio page, mytuna.com and all third party radio platforms. Join the conversation. What Jun Chen is saying, don't miss this show. This and every Tuesday, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. You don't want to miss this. It's time, it's time, it's time for In His Presence. This is Top Online Radio UK. I'm DJ KBNM. This will be a crowd. It's time for our evening Christian program. I know. Reverend Jacob Vanderpoor, eh, you know, every Monday, I am here some news here. And here, some bomb pie, which is this Bible sim pie, bo, a eh, Christian. I walk on here in the here, Pabu Shafo. You know, in there, no, yes, chassis, and say, Breno. I am in fact, Reverend Minister Mrana, in chassis. Welcome to In His Presence, Reverend. How are you, sir? Thank you, DJ KB. By God's grace, I'm doing good. We thank God. We thank God. How is the family and the network? Family, we are blessed by the grace of God. Network, by the grace of God, we are pushing. 
we we pray without ceasing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Lord is Amen. Good. Amen. All right. So, Reverend, take it away. We want to continue our series on the Sermon on the Mount. So, where are we now? <laughs> Thank you once again, DJ KB. Thank you, all the team on top of online radio. Amen. Dear viewer, dear listener, you are welcome to this program. We thank you, and as you tune in, try to invite somebody, try and share with somebody for us to have the nuggets as we believe God as we trust God together and share his word, it will transform our lives. Amen. So shall we start by a word of prayer? Amen. Our Father in heaven, we ascribe glory and honor unto your wonderful name. Lord, we celebrate your goodness tonight. If it had not been for your love, we don't know where we will be. But by your grace, we are meeting and people are going about their schedules. I pray that the Spirit of God will locate you wherever you are. I pray that the presence of God shall be tangible in our midst. Dear Heavenly Father, I decrease that your Spirit will increase over me. I've Father, in the name of Jesus, absolutely take control and saturate us with your word. I pray that your life will never be the same. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed with thanksgiving. God bless you. God bless you. We are here for the word of God. DJ KB, thank you for having me on the program once again. Amen. Amen. Right, so Reverend, um, la I think we were on honesty, was it? Yes. So, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. If you want to give a so brief summary, we will move and from then we continue. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, in totality, like our dear presenter said, we were on oaths, vows, and we came to honesty. Okay. Uh, it's a subtitle in the Sermon on the Mount. And we established the fact that oaths can be taken to organizations, a country, or to individuals. Yes. And the difference, the slight difference we saw in oaths and uh, vows. Vows are taken to God. People in the presence of men, we make our vows to God. So, oaths can be made to men. Swearing of oath. And vows can be made to God. Mm -hmm. And we started by reading Matthew chapter 5, 33 to 37. With, uh, Jesus established that in the old. It was said, swearing, but he says, let your yea be yea and your nay be nay. Yes. And we saw that going beyond yes or no compares you to say certain things that may not please the Lord. And we were trying to equate it to the British system. Their swearing is far worse. Yes. And we say in the same thing, if you are not careful, and you say something beyond your no and yes, you will be saying far worse in the presence mm. of God. Yes. A word that is not pleasing in the sight of God or that is not acceptable by God comes down to a far word. So we saw these vows, oaths, and we were on honesty. And we will start from there. What is honesty? Honesty is an attitude of the heart. Honesty be begins first as a quality of character. An honest person says something to his head. Or an honest person, when he speaks in society, 
they know uh, DJ KB has made a promise. They know by God's grace, if nothing happens, it will not change. Mm. Something can happen like we established, mm. something unavoidable or beyond your control. An honest person cannot honor what he says. But an honest person, when, when he speaks, everybody knows. And I was trying to establish the point that if you work with somebody or you know somebody for a time, you should know where the person stands. I even give some, give some examples that there are people, if they tell you, wait, you should go. <laughs> so honesty is an attitude of the heart rather than an art of speaking. Some people, they are very good at speaking. Very, very good. They will give all the promises. They will say all the good things. But when it comes to action, you will find them wanting. An honest person speaks the truth. Yeah. Hypocrisy is opposite honesty. Pretending to be something that you are not doesn't make you honest. Yes. Real Christianity takes off the mask. Mm -hmm. Taking off the mask is that you should be the real you. I should be the rare me. DJ KB should be the rare him. Anybody, what you are, be it. If there needs uh, to be help, you need to be help. It, it will come through. So we went to a point that we were talking about the key to honesty. Yeah. We said key to honesty is to love the truth. Yes. And over here, I would like us to read Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 10 and 11. Second Thess Thessalonians. Okay, I'll read Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse mm -hmm. 11. 10, 10 and 11. 11. Sorry. So I read, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie. Amen. Yeah, the love of the truth. If you don't do not receive the love of the truth, God will send you the delusion of lie. Mm. So honest person loves the truth. Okay. Honesty, it is not working. Or black is black, like we, we, we have said many times on our program. Right is right and wrong is yes. wrong. There is no middle. There's no middle. Mm. So, uh, we should love the truth. Protect against deception. When deception comes in, honesty is far from it. Mm. Deception. You know, we cited many examples. You know what you are saying. That is not what you mean. Or you know what you are saying. That is not what happened. You know what you are saying. That is not the real fact. You are not honest. Mm. Honesty is not playing part here. So brothers and sisters in the Lord, let our yea be yea and nay be nay. All comes down to the swearing. <laughs> because when you want to swear, then you will go beyond, mm. beyond the real thing and say something to cover mm. up. So, in order for you to be on the safer side, be honest. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I, I, I am the one who did it. Mm. Mm. So, that's where the borderline is. And 
we talk about types of dishonesty. We say deceiving others, okay. deceiving ourselves, mm -hmm. trying to deceive God. Because we establish the fact, and if you are a Christian, and if you understand the things of God, you know God knows the in and out of you. Yeah. Before you think, God knows. Mm -hmm. So we cannot say we are deceiving God. Maybe we try to deceive God. <laughs> God is no more. Mm. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. You cannot mock God. So we came to the type of uh, 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 honesty. Yes. And we, we will move from here. Uh, honesty with God. How can you be honest with God? Because we say trying to deceive God makes you dishonest. Yes. So how can you be honest with God? Anytime my presenter wants to chip in something, sir, feel free oh, and yes. chip in. Honesty with God. One, our faith in God is based on honesty. Mm -hmm. This, I, I will hammer on this. Our faith in God is based on honesty. Mm -hmm. Many times, or sometimes we Christians we know there is a condition <laughs> there are conditions to the blessings of God yeah. if you read Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 14 it says if you obey God I will bless you if you disobey God and you know you are not honest with God mm. and you stop uh, trying to blame God or trying to deceive God. Mm. Our faith in God is based on honesty. If you are honest, oh, God, I have seen. God, I haven't been faithful. All right. Clear that portion out. Okay. Go to God in prayer. <coughs> Ask God for forgiveness. And after that, you proceed praying for what you are praying. All right. But that issue with God, but we try to say, oh, God even understand. Or at times we forget that we are dealing with God. We think, I will think I'm dealing with DJ KB. Like he called me earlier on. I will say, oh, I, 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 I'm not home. Or I, I, I didn't do this. Hmm. No, with God, be yeah, honest. Reverend Minister, I have a question there. Um, yeah. I have heard a man of God trying to mm. defend some a lie in the Bible, trying to mm -hmm. justify it. You know, when Abraham um, um, went before Abimelech, I think, mm -hmm. and, you know, he presented Sarai or Sarah, yeah, mm -hmm. his wife, mm -hmm. as being his sister. That was a mm -hmm. lie. But mm -hmm. the, there was a man of God who was trying to defend that because it's in the Bible and say that no, he Abraham only used divine wisdom. That is by lying about his wife to Abimelech, he used divine wisdom. So you saying that like as if that wasn't a lie so is is there any form of dishonesty that god accepts because that is what um that man of god was trying to say that you know um because abraham was guided by god it's probably god that gave him that divine wisdom to say sarah was his sister so i'm a bit confused here does God accept some level of um, dishonesty as being divine? Uh, your question is very right. Uh, uh, dishonesty is dishonesty. Hmm. The only thing that we don't know, mm -hmm. and by the message of God, you have lied. That doesn't change it. Hmm. But God will do what he wants to do. Okay. He lied. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike David, any time he's wrong and he's pointed out to him, he accepted and move on. Yeah. 
in the case of Abraham, there was no portion that we saw God coming to him and saying, why do you lie? Yeah. And Abraham defended it. So if me, a servant of God, would defend it, it doesn't hold water. Mm. Honestly. God, I may lie, which God doesn't like. Mm. But there are peculiar situations. God has gone ahead to prepare that. This is how I want Abraham to be. And honestly, in future uh, uh, life, we saw Abraham straightening things with God. Mm. Mm. There was a time God called him out of obedience. He went. So, a lie is a lie. That's we right. cannot try to sugarcoat it. But what God will do, he will do. Mm. Wow. It's, 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 a, it's a problem. Uh, and I think, yeah, lying is one of it. I mean, big problems for Christians these days. Especially mm -hmm. those of us abroad because of some, you know, things, some monies that we want to get. Mm -hmm. We do tell so many lies. You know, and some yes. you know, we will maybe go into church, yet mm -hmm. we think that, oh, as long as probably if we even use part of the proceeds of our lives uh, to, 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 mm -hmm. to keep offering. So, in a way, we are sort of justified, you know, for, for, for doing those things. So, I think it's very important that we, we, we know as Christians that Every lie is lie. We must, you know. It's a lie. Mm. We can't justify lie. Mm. God speaks the truth mm. and does not lie. God honors His word. Like I said, God honors His word. Mm. The fact that Abraham lied, we cannot change it. Mm. But God went ahead and did what He would do. Yeah. What God will do is left to God. But the bottom line or the clear clarity of the thing. Sarah was in the system. Yeah. So what would change it not to be a lie? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so there's somebody said it's a divine wisdom. Abraham used divine <laughs> wisdom. He said, wow, I don't know. Because um, it is a lie. A, 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 a God wants to do what he wants to do. And we cannot help God. Yes. Maybe Abraham initially, he was doing it for his life. Yeah. Fine. He has lied. Yeah. If in God's uh, wisdom, he wants to punish him for it, he will. Yeah. And when he decides to bless him for some reason, there are some things if you try to understand about God, God will not be yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> we, can, we cannot God understand not, God completely. Otherwise, not at all. God will not be God. Mm. Mm. That's it. Because he has said, if you lie, I will do this. Clear example. He lied. He, humanly speaking, he wants to protect his life. Yeah. So God decided to do what God wants to do. When we go to the attempt of justifying and trying to prove why God do this, that's where... Mm. Uh, we get into problems. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, yeah. sir. Thank you very much so, for your answer. Uh, 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 honesty with yeah. God. Our faith in God is based on honesty. Honesty is not just telling the way we see it, mm. but it is seeing it the way God sees okay. it. Mm. I saw red. But as a child of God, by the mercies of God, we pray that God will open our eyes to see it as he yeah. sees it. Even though in the physical, it's red. And if it's red, if you say it's blue, you are lying. So the way God sees things, in the name of Jesus, as Christians, may God cause us to see it that way. That's why uh, how our work with God will be perfect. Mm -hmm. Honesty is not just telling the way you see it. Mm -hmm. Willing to see myself as God sees me. I love this area. Be yourself as God sees you. Amen.
at times we try to overestimate ourselves. Mm. Paul once said, I count myself not to be apprehended. But this is one thing I do. I forget the things of the past and I press forward for the price of the eye calling. Mm -hmm. And don't think, don't overestimate yourself. Be mm -hmm. willing to see yourself as God sees you. And this may look a bit deep to some people, but if you have the relationship with the word of God and you have a relationship with the spirit of God, God will direct you at times when you are overdoing things or you are not doing it in line with the word of God. God will direct you. Hmm. This, I, I don't know how to explain it fully to you, but the way uh, you relate to God and the way God sees you, from time to time, he will impress it on your heart. Amen. When there needs to be amendment or there needs to be putting in more, praying more, studying the word of God more, showing love to people more, mm. they're trying to correct your ways, God will reveal it to you. So honesty mm. is about willing to see myself as God sees me. See myself in the word, like I said. The word of God is the truth of God's word. And the word of God is God in action. Mm. So see yourself in the word of God. I have seen a weakness, but there is hope. That's where we get it wrong. I think we don't want to come to terms that we have heard mm. or we have seen. We, like we just said, we want to justify it. Oh, God knows the situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, you are weak in some area. You say, oh, God knows that's my frame. That's how he, he created me. But you see yourself that this is a sin. This is my weakness. God, help me to work on it. Give me hope to change. Yes. Then we come to honesty with others. And that one, if we can read Ephesians 4 verse 15 and verse 25 honesty with others and we live with people we work with people we 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 do everything with people nobody is a, a lone ranger so we have to be honest to one another all right so is it Ephesians 4 15 and uh, verse 15 then we jump to 25 15 25 I read Ephesians 4:15 but speaking mm -hmm. the truth in love oh yes but speaking yeah. the truth in love may may grow up in all things into him who is the head Christ I'll take it again but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head that is Christ now mm -hmm. go to 25. Mm -hmm. Therefore, putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Amen. Amen. Speaking the truth in love, mm. honesty with people yes. will make people get a clear picture of what is going on we need to get a clear picture yeah if i tell a lie to dj kb i'm putting him in the dark yes i'm not being honest if i come to tell you that this will happen and i know very well that is not what will happen or that is not what is going on your expectation is what i have told you yes. I'm not being honest with you. And if I'm expecting something from you, and you say, oh, I will give you tomorrow. And you know tomorrow, I won't make attempt at all. Or, oh, don't mind DJ KB. I, I have nothing to give him. Yeah. Why don't you tell DJ KB that what you are asking of me, 
I cannot do it. That is one thing I, I, I sometimes I struggle to understand. Some people, yeah, they know they they can't make it. They won't make it. Yet they won't tell you. They won't tell you. They will say, oh, they I will tell do you. It. And then when the time is up, you call them. You, they will show. They will may not they will show. answer their phone. Hmm. That's that's so bad. Yeah. That's so bad. So honesty is to love your brother and do unto others what you would like them to do to you. Yes. I, I wouldn't like, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, DJ KB to lie to me. So why should I lie to DJ KB? Yes, Robert Minister, there is the 25 thing also, sorry for cutting you from that. Sometimes yeah, um, we try to belittle lying. We try <laughs> to make it less sinful and say, oh, mm -hmm. give him some excuse. Let me give him an excuse. You know, something has happened. You are asked, why didn't you do this? You know, why didn't you turn up? Then it's, oh, give them an excuse. So here we are trying to um, be little lying when we, in fact, we have lied and try to make it less sinful by saying, oh, we uh, just give an excuse. So I think it's also very important we have to look at that. For instance, there is a man of God who said um, whenever his church member doesn't, you know, attend church and he mm -hmm. meets them, he never will ask them, why didn't you come to church? Because mm. he knew that they will lie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know that yeah. he, what he will hear is not yes. the truth. So, and it's true. Yeah, so in fact, he's one of my pastors in Ghana. He said he will never mm. ask you why didn't you come to church because he knows that nine out of ten the, 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 the church member will tell a lie. Oh, I visited um, my friend's church when that was never the case. So this man mm. of God said. And he knows it's a lie. So in order, in order not to help you to lie, he will not ask you at all. Mm -hmm. He just asks you, are you okay? At all. Okay, thank you. See you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. He will not say, why didn't you come to church? I'll say, see you next Sunday. Yes, something like that. <laughs> see you next Sunday. Yeah, yeah, see you next Sunday. That is it. Because, you know, yeah, it, yeah. it is now it's serious, people. It's, like lying has become less yes, lying is, is less sinful mm. you know there are bigger sins like fornication murder mm. and, you know infidelity and there's no small sin a sin is a sin like we we've been saying on the program a sin is a sin and we we need to ask god for forgiveness mm. the 25 you read he says something. Yeah. He said, therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor. Yes. Speak truthfully to your neighbor. For we are all members of one body. Mm -hmm. Like I just cited, do unto others what you want them to do unto you. Openness and honesty is essential to the success of the church. Mm -hmm. uh, to the success of the society. Yes. Everywhere we are, honesty and openness is needed. Yeah. Very, very. Relationship requires communication. And that is the area too we are finding it difficult to relate well. Communication. Everybody opens his or her mouth and tell a lie. Hmm. You don't even know who to believe against. Yes very very true and it's sad it's sad mm. it's like the more time passes by the less christ-like christians become because you know mm. when we mm. in the, those days 70s 80s 90s even before then you know when christianity was more of you know serious and oh, yes, yeah, sure. you know that's the word <laughs> You know, oh, you look at those who started, and, and mm. but as the time goes by, now you see that we are becoming less Christ-like. 
There are some things that mm. never happen in churches, but now they do happen. Even now in our churches, things that were seen in shrine, fetish priests, now you can see them in churches. You know, some mm. men of God, so called, talking about how to get money, juju, by using human mm -hmm. parts here and there. And they call him a man of God. So it's, it's serious. And, and sometimes you, 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 you seem to get the understanding of why Christ Jesus said, But when he comes, will he find faith on the earth? On this earth. On this earth. It's true. It's true. It's like the more as time uh, passes by, the more real that statement becomes. It becomes. Becomes. It's, it's eating us on the face. The statement is make, making uh, 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 us see the real fact. The real fact. And in, in honesty, there should be transparency. There's no more transparency. Hmm. Oh, There's no more transparency. It's, it's so sad. In the body of Christ, yeah. no more transparency. Um, um, it's, 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 it's just. Anyway, so what can we do, Reverend? What can we do so that we get that spirit? We should of, change our heart. We should change our heart. Changing of our heart. Because God, the only spirit is a gentle spirit. God will not force me against my heart. The heart condition. Express yourself. Tell what you feel. Like I will be telling the DJ KB something. And you don't like what I'm telling you. Because oh, maybe it's my superior. Or because if I tell him this, I will, I, will, I will be deviating or something like that. We don't say be rude. Mm. Be, be transparent. Transparency. Somebody will say, uh, like uh, 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 a saying that was said that uh, uh, a parent, a father was telling a son, sit down, and he will stand. And he said, I told you to sit down, <laughs> and he will stand. And finally, when he sat, he said, okay, you see me sitting down. But in my inside, I'm standing. <laughs> oh. Like I'm saying, a superior will tell somebody, or maybe people who work with you, you are in charge, you have brought something. It may be something helpful. But there may be somebody who doesn't like what you are saying or don't understand what you are saying. Hmm. And is not comfortable with it. Oh, at the right time, you come to the boss. Boss, can I speak to you? You said this and that. Please. There is a way of presenting yeah. that there is no transparency. Hmm. Either from the top to the bottom. The top knows what I'm telling them is not the fact. The bottom knows that even though I've accepted it, I won't do it. Hmm. You see? In the church. At our corporate world, in our homes, at our peer peer levels. Mm. So everything is like we are not unified. We are not in working in unity. Rather than sitting down and explaining and everybody being honest, this is what will help us. This is this, this is that. Definitely we disagree to agree. Yeah. And there are some people, they may not agree. There are stubborn ones. There are people who don't like good things. Yes. <laughs> we pray for mm -hmm. them. We pray for yeah. them. So there should be transparency. Reverend Minister, I and, think, uh, not to cut you short, another area um, I, I, I want to go uh, is in our marriages. I think that is mm -hmm. another area we must um, show honesty and transparency. So because um, very much especially when we travel abroad like where we are in the uk even inside mm -hmm. marriages 
um, somebody, you know, a partner may be doing something in Ghana, for instance, a project, and mm -hmm. the other person may not know it until sometime, you know, sometimes the, par the partner might even pass, uh, pass away before, mm -hmm. you know, the other partner gets to know of some mm -hmm. projects that the other that the person did. And sometimes it can get so serious that mm -hmm. um, there was a, a, a story I heard where a partner, you know, a marriage couple, one of them, you know, went to do a project in Ghana. And I think even this one was, yeah, the couple was in, in Ghana, yeah. And mm -hmm. the, the wife, built a house without the husband's knowledge and this same wife when um, the, the family was looking for um, to rent a property this mm -hmm. wife <laughs> oh my god um rock, 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 rented, rented the property name. yes to the, the same family can you believe this Mm -hmm. The wife has done mm -hmm. a, a, build a, pro a building separately without the husband's knowledge. And mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. the couple were moving to a new house, they were looking for a property, this same wife recommended her secret property to the husband. <laughs> so the, the, the husband didn't know. So he also went, paid the advance, mm -hmm to the agent mm -hmm. who had arranged mm -hmm. with the woman so the man was mm -hmm. paying the rent not knowing that to his he wife was paying it to his wife <laughs> how can the <laughs> reverend minister how can that be yes <laughs> but that there's be? a story that <laughs> things are happening reverend so i don't know mm -hmm. where the world is going and I, so i think it's, it's is there, i think give us advice us about honesty in relationship I mean our marriages especially thank you sir amen, amen. you saw in our pro, uh, in our uh, subtitle uh, divorce and fidelity yes. i was hammering on this yeah. thing that how can on head i be doing something have a project and my wife doesn't know or my wife have a project it's not marriage that one I, I won't miss words. Hmm. That is not called marriage. Reverend, for all you know, some people, they both agree mm -hmm. that do your ones, I mean, do your project, I will do mine. Yet they still say they are married. So in that situation, what can you say, sir? Is that not still marriage if they both agree? That, that, that marriage is not built up. On the foundation of God. Okay. Honestly. Okay. That marriage, honestly, you don't allow God to bless the marriage as he ought to. Okay. Because he said that two shall become one. Yes. The two shall become one. And you, you have already established that uh, maybe they, they, they are in courtship or are they uh, co cohabitating? <laughs> <laughs> oh, go habitation eh? because you you say I will do my media uh -huh. that will show why yeah. uh, that 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 one that one there is no in between mm. honesty should be there mm. because if you are really lawfully and legally married what you have is yes. mass what I have is yours so if you have established in your marriage that oh they are only who seek a fakoya they are yeah. open who catch them in crime, family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> a big problem. Yeah. So uh, uh, to all married people and to Christians as well, mm. especially, may we allow God to amend. There's nothing wrong if you have gone that way and you want to amend it god is the one who receives us 
and God is a forgiver of wrongs. So I pray that that, that understanding will come. Amen. Amen. That understanding will come. So honesty in the believer is essential. And we read from Psalm 15 about fear God and honor God. Don't don't despise a, a, a person. Honesty in the believer is essential. You must be trustworthy to be effective. Yes. When you are trustworthy, you will be effective. Will we allow ourselves to be put in a light, in a bad light for the sake of truth? The fear of people too. Ah, if I should say the truth, everybody will go against me. Uh, I will be in the bad light. Oh, you know you should have protected your brother. You know this, when you say it will be something. There's nothing wrong. I'm, I'm doing wrong. Interim. DJ K people will call me to the back and say, Oh, uh, brother Jacob, this thing you are doing, the organization doesn't like it. You know, it's a theft or it's against regulation. Baby, I told you once, for the sake of uh, human, human hair, we can all go wrong. Yes. I told you behind back door. And it continues. You can't be covering somebody all the time. We have to speak the truth. At times, the situation, uh, the person has done it. Deliberate or undeliberate. If you have a heart as a brother or somebody who maintain peace. If nobody sees it, God will not blame you for calling the brother to a corner or inviting the brother and speaking a, a, a sense yeah. or wisdom into him. And to the extent, you will tell the brother, mm -hmm. I have done some, not once, not twice. I say, if it happens again, mm -hmm. I will take the cover off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if it happens again and you go and to the uh, uh, appropriate place and tell them, hey, you've done the right thing. Mm. We'll, we'll honor our word even when it hurts. That's where you will have many people. Yes. They promise. They promise. They want to do it initially. <laughs> they want to do it. I'm not saying if you say, I will do this and somebody is dying, go ahead and do it. Mm. But some people, small, slight change or to uh, uh, something that will inconvenience them a bit, they have promised. Yeah. And a whole, a whole organization or a whole church is looking to you. Mm. And you know that thing, I, 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 I use some word, there are some things unavoidable. Yeah. If you will inform the church, or the organization, that's fine. But there are things that come your way, that can wait, because you've made a promise. Yes. I won't mention it. A man, a top man of mm. God in Ghana, he said his marriage got divorced, because at times when he make a, a commitment somewhere, mm. and family things come in, and it's not that urgent, the wife will be saying, you can't leave the family and do this. Yes. And he said, I, 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 have, I have promised those people. Mm. So let me go and finish with them mm. and come and see that of the family. Mm. The family broke up. <laughs> I won't mention them. Mm. And, eh, 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 these are some mm. of the things. That's why when we were talking of the family, we said we should be considerate. Yeah. We, we are a family. Mm. But a whole big man of God has opened his mouth mm. and committed himself. And the people are waiting for him. Yeah. And because there is a slight thing he has to do, which can be postponed mm -hmm. if we want to. 
The wife says, no, you have to do this. Hmm. So that also should count. We will be faithful to a commitment, even when the cost overruns the estimate. Okay. I know a one top a, a surveyor in Ghana. He says, at times I give estimates mm -hmm. to do something for somebody. Yes. And prices change. Yes. And me will become, <laughs> but I'm giving the person my word. And I will do it. Mm. And he says, genuinely, there are gentlemen. If I go back and tell them in the course of discussion and I tell them, oh, even though I told you it's 200 cities, mm. the cost of uh, things change and I have to spend 250. He says some people give him back the difference and some, if they don't give him, he still goes on with his work. Mm. So at times we should be considerate. Yes. Considerate. And finally, there is Enemies of honesty. That one we should we should go about it. Enemies of honesty. We our time is uh, we we will use three minutes to okay. do it. Enemies of honesty, exaggeration. Wow. Exaggeration. Mm. Shedding the truth in one's favor. And I've realized one thing: when you are exaggerating. Mm. Your words doesn't add yes, up. It's very, very true. You, your words doesn't it, it add up. When you are changing the story, you see you are not comfortable within you. Mm. But some, uh, um, uh, yeah, um, it's, it's, but, <laughs> you see, and that, that, that is one <laughs> area to where, you know, a lot of us are guilty, especially when mm -hmm. we, we, compare ourselves to ourselves and we want to appear That's superior it. to our, 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 our fellows, our, our friends, our uh, people in, uh, around us. So we even tell them things that are not true. Oh, is it what you have? As for me and my family, we, 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 when we go shopping, we, 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 we only buy Gucci, Gucci, um, you know, yeah. <laughs> when you find you, you have never <laughs> even, you know, handled, I mean, we never entered one of the Gucci shops. But no, if, no, if, you had in, 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 in front of his peers, he wants to be, hey, yeah, mm -hmm. then you are very, you know, wealthy. You are, you are very powerful. You are very, you know, as you, you say, uh, you know, that sort of mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> you know, and so they'll be That's lying. It. Meanwhile, you, 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 you investigate it, you don't have to stretch your imagination. You see that it is a lie. It is a big so lie. Why do we do it this to ourselves? Lie. Just to appear better in front of our peers and gain what? Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, this also happens in our churches, even as Christians. It does. It yes. does. A Christian man, very noble man, was telling me. They had a, a very good place that a friend who lives abroad has offered to them live there, and it's a very a, a very high class house. And he says the wife in the church goes about telling people the house belongs to them. And he says, wife, don't do this; <laughs> it will catch up with you. Yes. The house is not ours. It's our friend's house. <laughs> he said we should live there. So, so, when the friend comes, you don't know when he's coming. But when he comes and now it's to the public, how will you look? Yes. How will you feel? Yes. So he said that is a big problem. I was called to come into it. And I was telling the wife ah, uh, 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 to be frank. I don't say things I don't have. Never, never. I don't say it at all. Because I cannot stand disgrace. And I know every lie you tell is in front of you. You will go and meet. It. So these are some uh, using dishonesty as a weapon. Mm. At times, 
Uh, like you are saying, a lie or to prove I, I wear Gucci and so on. It's a dishonesty. You are using it for people to see you in a certain class, whereas you are not in the class. And even maybe God wants to bless you with something. But the class you've put yourself, the person will say, I cannot go and give this to such a big person. Yes. <laughs> yes. So you lose your blessings. Yes. Because <laughs> even the kind of things she's wearing, uh, I can't go near mm -hmm. them. Meanwhile, then, yeah, you may be the they don't you have may to, to, to feed your family. Yet you are mm -hmm. boasting mm -hmm. about wearing, <laughs> you know, <laughs> attacking with your mouth. You attack with your mouth dishonesty, corrupt communication. Mm. Hand justifies the means. Telling an untruth to gain a good goal. That why it catches up mm. with you. A, a, a yeah, listener and viewer, uh, that one catches up with you. Yes. If you should take 30 years, it will catch up with you. So be careful. Failure to confront to deal with rare issues can be helpful. There are some issues. You can't brush it under the carpet all the time. The issue will be facing you. It, it will be coming to you. We must use tactics. Mm. Tactics. Discretion. Compassion, like I said. But we must speak the truth in love. Yes. Compassion. The compassion will let you... Call the brother and say, don't do it again. I take it to be a mistake. Mm. Maybe you didn't do it deliberately. Yes. So don't do it again. That's it. Then, finally, honesty should be a point of honor with every believer. Yes. Should not have to swear on a stake of Bibles to uh, uh, verify one statement. That's where the swearing comes mm. in. You can't swear or stick of Bibles to verify your spirit. Say yes and say no. Let them think you are lying. Fine. God knows the truth. Plain truth. Jesus said, let your yes be yes. Your no be no. A simple yes or no should surface. We should handle the truth in such a manner as to bring life to situations. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Reverend Amen. Minister, I think today our time is fast spent, but I have one question, and that is yeah. regarding the, to the topic we treated today. You know, mm -hmm. we swear oaths in, mm -hmm. you know, various areas of our lives. One area I want us to look at mm -hmm. is in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. When people swear, you know, whether they do it willingly or unwillingly, you know, using the Bible, mm -hmm. I swear, I pledge to blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we may find that person guilty. Mm -hmm. So, when people swear using the Bible, and in fact, mm -hmm. it turns out that they lied, does it have any spiritual implications on them? It does. It does. It does. It greatly. It does. Because it looks like people you, are no longer afraid of the Bible, you know, like the word of God, nor even God. They they know they are lying, but they will, you ask them to swear, they will still swear. So And they will go ahead and uh, uh, polish their face and do it. But it has a great consequences. Hmm. It has. It has. So <laughs> uh, we are hailing fire on our head. Mm. At times, we do things because it's a normal thing. Or the lawyer has told you, uh, I, will, I will get you out of this. Mm -hmm. So you have to do something. So this honesty thing is not in between. I love sometimes that you, you, the way you put things. Uh, wrong is wrong and right is yeah. right. Yeah. Hmm? Right is All right, right, Reverend. I think it's so, time for prayer. Please, okay. I, I have one prayer request, and that is for all Christians. Mm. Pray for us to, mm. uh, uh, you know, 
stop lying. I'm going to put it simply as that. That's because, it. That's uh, a lot of that's us it. Christians, that's we it. lie left, right, center. We like. We lie like yeah. fish. Fish. <laughs> it's as we drink water. So, <laughs> can God have mercy on us and help us to stop lying? Let us be conscious yeah, that lying is sin. There is nothing like it's small a sin lie against and God. big lie. Mm. Pray for us. And any other topic you want to pray about. Thank you, sir. Thank you, DJ KB. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you. Amen. You are a forgiver of sins. Amen. You forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Without exception, including myself, mm. Father, we pray that we will be conscious and we will be able to say the truth, even if it hurts, even if it will uh, get us into trouble. Mm. Lord, give us that capability and give us that strength because your word is what we should honor. Yes. Lord, forgive us all these lies we've told and all these uh, 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 complications in our lives. Mm. Transparency. May we be transparent to one another. Mm. Do unto others as you want them to do to you. Do unto government as you want the government to do to you. Mm. Father, oh God, in addition, we pray for people who have various issues. Apart from lies, there are people in awkward situations. There are people with challenges. But the word of God will locate you wherever you are. The hand of God, the blood of Jesus wash away all our sins. Mm. Especially every sickness will bow at the mention of the name of Jesus. Amen. May you be cleansed. Amen. May we walk in honesty Amen. with God, with one another, with ourselves. Amen. Some people, we fly to our soul so much that when we are telling our soul something, it doesn't work. Amen. Father, tonight, this is our prayer. Father, we pray that you will protect us all. Amen. Protect our uh, radio station, TV station, all our organizations. Amen. Let the love of God be shared abroad in our heart. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, you have heard us pray tonight. You have heard us share on honesty. Just come to Jesus. Amen. Just give your life to Jesus. It will make you a brand new person. And quickly as you say this after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray for forgiveness of sins. I pray that the blood of Jesus will cleanse me. And the blood of Jesus will set me abraze and make me anew. Ah, Father, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. And I pray that you will cleanse me from all unrighteousness. May you forgive me and you are a new creature. All, all the old things have passed away. Everything has become new. God bless you, DJ, KB, and all the listeners. God bless you. Next week, we will be with you. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you very Thank much, Reverend Minister, you. for your time. We believe, dear Thank listeners you. and viewers, you've been blessed. This is a program that comes your way every Monday, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Uh, so, um, I put the number of Reverend Vanderpoy on the screen. Um, he is the leader of the Wailing Intercessors Network. It's a network of prayer warriors and intercessors. So if you have any prayer request and you want them to help you in prayer, please call the number on your screens, which is 078-987-24108. That is 078-987-24108. 24108 also if you want to join the network uh, as a prayer warrior please call the same number and reverend vanderpoy will be glad to welcome you thank you very much prepare minister for your time and we hope to come your way again same time next week um and we'll, are we still on the seven on the month next week 
Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want us to go fully okay. and it will help people. Okay. It will help All people. All right. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll publicize that next subtitle. Mm. We will talk about where they say, high for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Vengeance is of God, not of us. So next week we will continue on. Okay. With it. God bless you. Thank you. you. God All bless you. But thank you, you sir. Have a good evening. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Four, that was Reverend um, Jacob Vanderpoy of the Wailing Intercessors Network. As I said, it's a network of prayer warriors and intercessors. And he said, Oh, prayer requests be not per se of Bobo and Paya. Call that number. Let me bring the number again. And that is 078. Nine eight seven two four one zero eight. That is zero seven eight nine eight seven two four one zero eight. I Reverend will be glad to hear from you. Let's hear for now. Me woman Kaye. I am here at Doma Echna. Is and you may we have two shows. G J G nice. I or the Miss Grail Ebe Bremo. Sasso and a strange embrace so or he might be or he might be I or the man come over Bremo. Now, send a minimum. I man come on the every week be a and some big in quan or mudiba. I mean, I don't swat a china another round of in some big and a man come up program. No, Mr. Shannon. So, DJ Gina, so say why you crowd up a and please don't miss the show. Na yes, I want to be say I see a the brand new program. Eba, I yes, you cry say binya ne jingo ka krebi aboha. I a quantum moon sem see and also so. Eba, I every Friday, every Friday, and I decide you made in Eba so. Yanti. A quantum monsem. A quantum monsem. A quantum Top on land radio UK. I the a quantum monsem program on Bremo. This and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Join Mami Plamine. Plamine PSE. Top on land radio UK. This and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. On a quantum monsem. Then you come up at a quantum. Then you do some at a quantum. Join Mami Plamine. Plamine PSE. This and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time on Top Online Radio UK. Don't miss the show. This and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. Don't miss the show. Make a date with Mami Plamai. This and every Friday on Apprentice Munsem. A quantum sem. A quantum sem only on top online radio UK. Shall I join? I'm a semi chairman. Jan Seni Baku for Trimo, or William Namis make candy minimum in Naya Siati. If you had a beer representation on top online radio UK, we will be streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. You can also listen to us on our website, toponlinestation.com. You can also tune in live on our free mobile radio app. Download the radio app from the App Store and the Play Store. Store or go to toponlinestation.com. A quantum moon, sir. 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 A Chao, Tia Rabba. A program I never joined a quantum in some in summer. A CC a quantum moon, a radis a bishop for cinema moon a quantum moon, some dear a binum a motia. Now, who the own your home binum a watia. Now, Busan will say. And they say, dear, we are soon a call reverse another saying. Ain't he a bishop shannon so a brand new um talk show a bar top online radio UK. This and every Friday evening, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Mami Pramine, Pramine PC, I or the Sajimedian Ebbrom. 
Jo, when a chat so soon, yummy out to my Wednesday, yummy out to my it's time and you may be lawyer Francis from Wise Smart or the same be I'm running crater sem, crater sem, crater sem updates via bar, be a bar person, never che into Miss Roy Ashenon. So Wednesdays and you may I eight to nine p seven to eight pm UK time na in T near Koso. What question be a Mr. Prepare to during the program? No, you can take advantage now. We'll be sir. Any questions? I will now. Lawyer, no be here normal. Can I say we have free consultation? I free consultation hour every Wednesday 7 to 8 and PM UK time. I T did you keep in here? I'm going to be on the set. UK ha na wani ji radio juma ho uh, whether you want to be a radio presenter a radio host or a radio panelist please get in touch and let's talk uh, you can call us uh, on our studio number um which is 079 that is 079 44398. I am in first number on my screen, so all right. So the number is at the bottom of the screen 079 029 44398. I offer a number in the Kasana near Twasso, so yeah, the Atwasso. Also, say, oh, I UK, I will Juma Napa say, your boy, your boy, your Juma, no, the Rumawa. You can call the same number on your screen 079 029 44398. I know in Also, we have sponsorship. I species say also per se or sponsor some of our any of our programs. Na yebo ojuba and won a de remowa and also not get in touch. 079 029 44398. Now, I know we didn't come on the Obia Edia Twasso. Now, our brand new program. I had a brand new program. I had a brand new program. I had a brand new program. I a very big uh, program. Ah, had a brand new program. I had a brand new program. I had a brand a quantum monsem. A quantum monsem. A quantum monsem. A quantum monsem. Top online radio UK. I had the quantum monsem program on Bremo. This and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Join Mami Plamai. Plamai PSA. On Top online radio UK. This and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. On a quantum monsem. Join Mami Plamai. Plamai PSA. This and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time on Top Online Radio UK. Don't miss the show. This and every Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time only on Top Online Radio UK. Don't miss the show. Make a date with Mami Plamai. This and every Friday on Quentio Munsem. A quantum monsem only on top online radio UK. Chawajin, I'm a semi-chairman. Jansen, you back for three more. Who can you win him? I'm a semi-candy minimum. If you're the top online radio UK, we will be streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. You can also listen to us on our website, toponlinestation.com. You can also tune in live on our free mobile radio app. Download the radio app from the App Store and the Play Store or go to toponlinestation.com. A quantum monsem. A quantum monsem. And so Our very lives consist of moments, occasions, events, and experiences. But some of these moments turn out to be so special that you never want to forget them. Unfortunately, to forget is human, 
and time relegates all those special moments to antiquity. And that is when photography comes in to bring to the present memories of those special moments, occasions and events which you cherish so, so much. You don't just want photography, you want professional photography. Speak to the experts at Dan Studios UK. Firm of professional photographers providing on equal photography services to all areas in the UK. Let us take care of the photographs of those special occasions that mean so much to you. Is it a wedding, a christening, an engagement, a marriage ceremony, a birthday party, or is it a funeral celebration, a business event, a religious event, a political event? or other social events. At Dan Studios UK is your ultimate choice. Get in touch now for a professional photography service with a touch of spice. At Dan Studios UK, incredible photographs that return those memories from antiquity to the present. Ebusian four, so Kenshi ni nyao padia. Emam kwanchen fu biya me se piche cinema wu. Ubiti mikase, I'm sorry, o piche cinema wu. Contact at Dan Studios UK on 078-52-311-049. That's 078-52-311-049. At Dan Studios UK for incredibly fabulous photographs. At Dan Studios UK. Naturally flawless. At Dan Studios UK. Incredible photographs with a touch of spice. spice, spice. Abrochire for Ghana for listen to Ohima B this and every Tuesday evening 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. UK time for our evening talk show Man Komo. Join the conversation. Family issues. Social issues. Awari Munsem. Child upbringing. Abataye Munsem. Emante Tiye Munsem. Fie Shensem. Emema Sukahu. Don't miss this show this and every Tuesday evening 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Listen to Man Komo on Top Online. Radio UK. You can watch the program live on Facebook at Top Online Radio UK. You can tune in to us by visiting our website www.toponlinestation.com or you can download our radio app directly from the Play Store or the App Store. You can also tune in to us on Modern Ghana Radio, Ghana Web Radio page, mytuna.com and all third party radio platforms. Join the conversation. What Jun Chen is saying, don't miss this show. This and every Tuesday, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. You don't want to miss this. Who is going to do my account and tax returns for me, Cra? Certified accountant. Certified accountant. Certified accountant. They will help you with your account and tax returns. Are you a medical driver, headdress, shop owner, or self-employed? Certified accountant. And then what's our current chapter? And then we will say when you will be a what bring accounts and tax returns more. Now ban so more. Now who you are? It's in a make careful certified accountant. And the amount of accounts and tax returns, company accounts, bookkeeping, payroll services, charity accounts, and gift aid claim. As of for what twenty? Open manager certified accountant, self-help tax planning, business advice, company registration, and many more. And if you should check out company, what you work as a now what the amount of bill, what is the capital you should bill on your budget? Certified accountant. They say about tax refund the dear. What to do? Construction workers, agency workers, relief security workers, bank nursing staff. And then we are going to our temporary workplaces. We are going to do our own work. 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 Address 335 to 351 Raynham Road South, Darknam, RM10 8QR. Telephone 0208 226. 4933 Mobile 079 568 045 17
Ah, certified accountant. Me huma ma me huma chame. Mudi mpunti yo abba me duma yu me duma yu. Next grail. Listen to DJ G and on Top Online Radio UK. This and every Tuesday evening, 4 to 6 p.m. UK time. As he brings you in Next Grail. What's in the mix? It's really anything goes. Social issues. Cultural issues. Diaspora issues. Ghanaian issues. It really cuts across all the board. Listen to DJ G Nice this and every Tuesday afternoon, 4 to 6 p.m. UK time. Don't miss this show. Join the conversation. What's going on? Next prayer. Only on Top Online Radio UK. You can listen to this program live on Facebook and YouTube. Just search for Top Online Radio UK. You can also tune in live on our website. TopOnlineStation.com Download our free radio mobile app from the Play Store and the App Store. You can also get the download links from our website TopOnlineStation.com Don't miss the show. Join the chat. Join the conversation. Let's talk. Join TJT Night this and every Tuesday afternoon 4 to 6 p.m. UK Time. You don't want to miss this. This program is proudly sponsored by Certified Accountant Limited, a firm of Ghanaian accountants in the UK. You can reach them for all your accounting and tax matters on 0208-226-4933. That's 0208-226-4933. Or you can visit their website, certifiedaccountants.org. At Certified Accountant Dot all. DJ Unice twice as nice. Let's get ready to rumble. Ghana for a British for you can for join your highness. No, 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 no. On Top Online Radio UK for our current affairs talk show, Trending Digest. This and every Thursday evening, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. What's going on? What's trending? What's in the news? Join Nana Youngson to digest these and all stories making headlines in Ghana, UK, US, Europe, and the world over. Don't miss this show. This and every Thursday evening, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. What's trending? Don't miss this show. Trending Digest. You can watch this program live on Facebook at Top Online Radio UK or download our radio app from the Play Store and Apple Store or visit our website toponlinestation.com. This program is proudly sponsored by Certified Accountants Limited, a firm of Ghanaian accountants in the UK. You can reach them on 0208-226-4933. That's 0208-226-4933. 4933. Don't miss this show. Trending Digest.